Rita Letang began painting in the 1950s, inspired largely by Paul-Emile Bordua and the gestural abstract art of the automatiste. However, around the same time, she was also drawn to the structured and hard edge paintings of Les Plasticiens. Letang formed her own personal style that fluctuated between these two opposing types of abstraction, always viewing figuration in art as a crutch. This painting, Terre Féconde, was painted in 1961, at a time when she was heavily influenced by the abstract expressionists in New York, particularly the work of Franz Klein. The painting is moody and dramatic and evocative, with thick impasto and a horizontal row of yellow lozenges across a thick curtain of black and earth-toned pigments. This color scheme and paint application has come to be known as some of Letton's most quintessential style, and Terre Féconde is a rare example of it on such a large scale. The 1960s was a decade of well-deserved recognition for Letton's work. She was awarded the first prize in the Concours de la Jeune Peinture in 1959 and the Prix Rodolphe de Repentigny in 1960. This prize and increased sales that would follow enabled Letton to dedicate herself to painting on a full-time basis. Terre Faconde was painted in 1961 during this important and highly productive early period. Also in 1961, the artist had a solo exhibition at the Montreal Museum of Fine Arts and won second prize in the painting category in the Concours Artistique du Québec. In 1962, Letton received a Canada Council grant and traveled with Ulysse Comtois to Europe, visiting Paris, Rome, and then Israel. <laughs>